Um, good day everyone, I am Sitarasi from Maitre Simons University. Today I will be presenting on in situ and ex situ bioremediation techniques. Bioremediation is a treatment that uses naturally occurring organisms to break down hazardous pollutants into less toxic or non toxic substances. This is according to the Environmental Protection Agency or EPA. To detoxify and or to degrade pollutants, on site, off site and in situ methods can be used. Because living creatures are involved, bioremediation necessities an interdisciplinary approach which incorporates relevant disciplines such as microbiology, engineering, ecology, geology and chemistry. So, we will talk about the different types of uh, remediation techniques. So, normally there are uh, two types of remediation techniques uh, ex situ and in situ. So, ex situ procedures entail physically removing the contaminated material from its original location for the treatment. In situ procedures include treating contaminated material on site or at the source of the contamination. And the following are a uh, few examples of in situ and ex situ bioremediations. So, first one is land farming. It is done in the top zone, which is a solid phase treatment system for contaminated soils. In biotreatment cells, this can be done in situ or ex situ. So, second one is composting, an aerobic thermophilic treatment procedure in which contaminated material is completely combined with a bulking agent and it is piled in static or aerated piles. Alternative uh, to this is less expensive. Okay. So, third one is bioreactors. So, biodegradation takes place in the container or in a reactor that is tightly controlled. It is frequently employed in the treatment of liquids or slurries. So, fourth one is bioventing. Uh, this is an in situ treatment method which stimulates the growth of indigenous microorganisms by pulling oxygen through the soil. So, fifth one is biofilters. It is used to treat air pollution. Uh, this approach employs microbial stripping columns. Sixth one is bioaugmentation technique. It is a technique that is commonly utilized in both in situ and ex situ settings. It entails the addition of uh, microorganisms to a polluted medium. So, seventh type is biostimulation. It provides essential nutrients that are needed to stimulate the growth of indigenous microbial population in the soil or in the groundwater. So, eighth type is intrinsic bioremediation. It innate cap uh, capacities are handled in uh, intrinsic bioremediation. Only regular monitoring is done during unassisted contaminant bioremediation. Ninth technique and the last technique is pump and treat. Earth water is pumped to the surface, it is treated and then it is injected back into the ground. Uh, so, I would like to conclude that uh, people regard bioremediation as an acceptable uh, and ethical waste treatment procedure for contaminated materials such as soil because it is a natural process. Uh, instead of uh, transporting toxins from one environmental medium to another such from uh, land to water or to air, this approach actually allows for full elimination of uh, the targeted pollutants. It is frequently possible to carry out uh, in situ without causing a significant disturbance to the area's normal routine activities. It also avoids the need to transfer huge amounts of garbage uh, off site. Thus, it lowers the risk of human health and the environment associated uh, risks with uh, transportation. Other than that, bioremediation is also less expensive and it has a number of other advantages compared to, compared to uh, other technologies that are used for hazardous waste cleanup. So, these are a few references. Thank you.